Hi friends, today I am going to explain about the Simplex Addressable Fire Alarm Control Panel 4010 model. In this panel, uh, Fire Alarm Control Panel, we can add additional devices for one printer, we can uh, printable view and the papers, we can receive uh, what are the alarms we received, troubles and any fire alarms and uh, what we did for the any maintenance or troubleshooting uh, and which time, which date. We can exactly we can receive all the information uh, in this uh, printer view and here one automatic uh, dialer uh, this dialer is there any real fire alarm any troubles or any information uh, for the uh, most important uh, alerts where if you want to receive any uh, persons like a fire chief or any maintenance supervisor maintenance manager if they want to know the details you can uh, connect this automatic dialer with their numbers they can receive they can receive the alarm and trouble details and here you are seeing the panel inside view okay here we connected the two batteries uh, these two batteries uh, connected in series so the battery configuration is 12 volt uh, 7 amperes so the output is 24 volt uh, it's giving uh, to this panel this for uh, by using this uh, 24 volt voltage supply uh, for the ancillary uh, devices ancillary device means annunciator so additional annunciator same like display the keyboard information keypad information everything uh, included in the small display unit we fix it in uh, the another building or any uh, tower area so it's around the 60 meters or uh, it's around one kilometer area we can just um, alert for any operator over there so they can easily identify through the uh, small annunciator it's included the panel uh, speaker all itself and also here uh, you are seeing this is the SLC circuit SLC means signaling line circuits A and B uh, this is under the this is in the loop circuit so one the one circuit is start from here okay it's cover one area it starts from the devices like small detector, heat detector and uh, MCB is all uh, connected in this line and uh, the finishing completed uh, next area also finish in this line so this signaling line circuits uh, connected in a ring loop okay uh, this starts from here the circuit starts from here and the end in this and in this uh, end, end over this line okay in this point and here uh, we have uh, four NAC circuits. What does it mean by NAC circuit? NAC means notification appliance circuits. It's uh, for the speakers. So for the speakers, they cover uh, this player. They uh, divide the two areas, the area, um, location A, location B, like this. The speaker circuit starts from here and end here. Here also the next area starts from here and here. Okay, this is also in a, it's uh, connected in the ring loop only. Okay. Let's see the LCD display. Now the panel is in a normal mode. Okay, here some options are there: alarm acknowledgement, surprise acknowledgement, and trouble acknowledgement. These are the uh, acknowledgement options. Okay, when you are receive the any trouble, any alarms, you must acknowledge. Then only you can view the location and what is the problem. And here the silence alarm. Alarm silence for uh, silence this panel uh, panel uh, sound and also the sounders uh, volume. You want and uh, the system reset for after finish your uh, troubleshooting you must press the system reset and here you are watching this uh, board for the ancillary ancillary support uh, support device uh, PCB board and uh, here, this is the main uh, circuit board okay let's see the operating functions here you have a menu and this is the function key this is the enable and disable for uh, any uh, devices you can enable and disable through this buzzer and this one key for uh, exit and clear and here this is for enter and this is for option for the stall buttons like this so here first we go to the menu button here uh, the first point for the control viewpoints this you can uh, see here for the two alarms Input output devices, relays, 
and uh, NAC circuits, everything. Okay, and the next for logging. So here uh, three access levels. First access level for the uh, maintenance purpose. If you want to view uh, some extra options like history, uh, history log, and some uh, any other uh, uh, device uh, properties, we can view through the level one. For the level two, uh, for some extra options, they add in the level two to configure the new devices uh, to add in the uh, signaling line circuits. For the level three, for engineering purpose, engineering level, uh, that the installer uh, who can use the particular uh, panel configuration, they they want to reach in the software version and uh, they wants to reconfigure the total uh, system. So they can use the level 3. And next, for the history logs, we can view uh, the, what are the alarms, troubles, we can view through this history log. And next, software revision. So we can view the, uh, we can see the, what is the version of this uh, panel. And next, diagnostics. Diagnostics, uh, what are the, the diagnostic uh, items over there, we can view here. End of the list. So...